welcome dear students so now i will solve a problem on forces in 3d so as you can see this is your problem a plate is hanging by two cables ac and ab and the dimensions are given and the tension in cable ab is 1425 newton and we have to determine the components of the force exerted on the plate at b so here we have to determine the components of the force so first thing we will do is to find out the ba so ba So this will be equals to position vector of B, sorry, of A minus position. vector of b now uh, you know that the coordinates of a are 0 x is 0 and uh, y is uh, 600 and uh, Z is 360. Okay, and the coordinate of point B R X is 900. Y is 0, and Z is 0. So from this we can write B A like this. So. <coughs> Zero minus nine hundred mm and i. So zero is the coordinate of a, x coordinate of a, and nine hundred is the x coordinate of b. Similarly, we can write. Six hundred minus zero mm j, and similarly we can write three sixty minus zero mm k. So this is the position vector of uh, means, and this is how we can represent B A. Minus nine hundred mm i plus six hundred mm j plus three sixty mm k. And now you can calculate the magnitude of B A by simply taking in the square root minus nine hundred. K square plus six hundred K square plus three sixty K square and overall square root and this will come out to be one one four zero mm. Now for finding the component, first we need to find the unit vector in the direction of B A. That is lambda B A, and that is equals to B A divided by the magnitude of B A. Okay, so this will be equals to minus nine hundred 
divided by 140 sorry 1140 i plus 600 divided by 1140 j plus 360 1140 k so this is the unit vector now we can represent the force that is uh, tension force T B A as magnitude of the force into the unit vector in that direction. So we can write uh, for unit vector, okay. So the magnitude is given as 1, 4, 2, 5. So this is here it is given. Okay. And uh, in the bracket, you can write this minus 900 divided by 1140 i plus 600 divided by 1140 j. Plus 360 divided by 1140 k. Okay, so when you simplify this, then you will get uh, TBAS. So you just need to multiply those terms, and multiply and divide. So then you will get minus 1125 newton of i then plus 750 newton of j and plus 450 newton k okay so now you can find out the components so tba x means in the x direction will be equals to minus 1 1 2 5 newton and t b a y will be equal to 750 newton and t b a Z will be equals to 450 Newton. So this is the solution. This is how you can solve the problems regarding forces in 3D or vector in 3D. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.